what is Crimecraft? Crimecraft isn't an MMO. Crimecraft is a Pones, a persistent world next-gen shooter. We're taking the best things about a shooter and the best things about typically found in an MMO or RPG and kind of combining them. So at our core, we're a shooter. Uh, first and foremost, it's Twitch-style gameplay. Uh, so you got to have skill to play. Um, but we're wrapping that around with a persistent world. So the persistent world side of things is like shops like this, which is a weapons vendor. Where you could buy different types of ammunition, different types of guns. Uh, we also have player created uh, weapons, ammunition, uh, guns, boosts, uh, clothing, all through a crafting system. So we have a, a loot system that allows you to find things when you're fighting, um, use those things to craft things, and then sell them either on the, the pawnbroker, which is our version of an auction house, uh, directly to other players through a chat uh, trade, or uh, directly through trading. Each one of these common areas uh, contains up to three or 500 people. Um, so it's going to be fairly big in scope, and all these, com these community aspects kind of happen inside those areas. So whether that's trading, whether that's getting missions, uh, getting jobs, um, the storyline gets communicated. You form gangs, which are our version of guilds or clans. So we're taking guilds from MMOs and clans from fir first-person shooters and kind of combining them and kind of taking them to the next level. We have some really, really cool ideas on how we can get people to join gangs quickly um, and then create rivalries to, amongst other gangs. We communicate uh, some of the missions and jobs through payphones. So the difference between jobs and missions, jobs are more uh, straight, cut and dry, kill 25 of these people, use a pistol, get 10 headshots, that kind of thing. And missions are our way to kind of communicate storyline stuff. So a mission might be from, a, from a, one of the big gangs that runs the city. So the, the backstory for Crimecraft is that kind of pulled from the headlines, there's a, an ecological and financial disaster. So it had a d domino effect that kind of wiped out civilization. So in order to kind of maintain some semblance of order, the cities built walls around them. And inside those walls, it was still somewhat chaotic, but people with the strongest might ended up rising to the top. So there's gangs that kind of run the show. But outside those walls, it's complete chaos. So we also have an in-game mail system that's communicated through these mailboxes. So you can send things to other players, whether it's you know straight money, you can send a, a note the next time they log in and check their mail, or you can send items. We also have a COD system, so you can sell items and they can pay you through the mail. Again, taking some of the best things that are normally found only in MMOs and uh, applying them to a shooter. Along those same lines, we added a lot of RPG features. If you look at the, the trend on where shooters have gone, they've brought in RPG features over time. We're kind of taking that to the next level. So through Crimecraft, you'll raise levels. Right now, we have a level cap set to 50. Uh, so you raise levels from 1 to 50, and you're unlocking skills throughout the whole time. There's some of the different abilities. And the difference between a level 1 person and a level 50 person is more about the options they have rather than the power that they possess. So if you want to be, if you're going to jump into to a map that has long sight lines and you want to specialize and be a sniper, uh, the high level guy will have more abilities available to him, where the low level guy might have just specialized in close combat type things, like shotguns.